Hi Fig Nation, I'm Fig, and today we're online dating. Sorry, not you and I. I mean, if you're watching me, you probably are online dating, but that's not the point. What I mean is today we're talking about online dating. We're not actually gonna online date. I'm sorry. In fact, later in this video, I'm gonna be attending my first Discord wedding with no experience prior to Discord weddings or even Discord e-dating. So what's a better time to learn than today? So stick around to watch me attend my first Discord wedding because it might be a bit more interesting than you realize. So online dating or e-dating has many layers to it from matching usernames and profile pictures to sleep VCs. <laughs> to even Discord weddings. And with that being said, let's take a dive into the world of e-dating. Sorry, I meant that I'll take a dive. You're probably already drowning in it. I'm sure we all know that the internet is full of bad decisions, like how a generation of teenage boys went on to platform a bunch of anti-maskers who know two letters of the alphabet and went on to create a thread of L's under mandatory masks at a crowded convention. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Anyway, a bit of a bad decision that I made online was making friends online. And it changed my life so much for the better. So it actually wasn't a bad decision at all. But surely if you can make friends online, why can't you take those relationships a step further online and e-date? Surely taking relationship further solely online can't be harmful at all, right? Well, yeah, I think e-dating can work. Just don't your computer or meet someone on Ubo. Trust me on that last one. Trust me. Not from experience or anything. Just trust me on that second. As I said prior, I'm attending a Discord wedding and I don't know the correct etiquette. It's time to learn. Everybody get your notebooks out and let's learn how to e-date. Wow, that's a lot to take in on our first lesson, but everyone calm down, it's gonna be okay. We learnt that we can e-sleep. So, not you and I, no, we can't. I just meant it in general, like generally. It also seems the most common way to meet your e-partner is either through Valorant, Discord, or 4chan. I guess it's like choosing your starter Pokemon for e-daters. Now, obviously, some of these TikToks are marked as satire. Not all of them, but some of them are, yes. But let's still pretend that they're not marked as satire so that I can have a good video. Thank you, everyone. And with that being being said so play the next TikTok. Okay, wow, this is gonna be a lot to take in. Everybody, start writing. So we can e-date, e-kiss, e-cuddle, e-cheat, and have e-depression, but we can't get e-job. Sorry, not us. Why do I keep on saying we? It also seems another e-dating theory is that a VPN can act as uh, contraception when you're e -f Moving on, it seems that supporting e-dating is kind of like you guys because where most of you don't support e-dating and aren't subscribed, the smaller proportion of you are subscribed and do support e-dating. And I think it would be great if more of us supported e-dating. And the last lesson I need to learn is some of the hate. So let's look at some e-haters. It's really sad, isn't it? Trolling in the e-data sphere seems to be very normalized. And with all these TikToks in mind, it alludes to that the average e-date tends to be very forward, not socially acceptable in the eyes of everyone, and e-depressing. So let's find out if this is all true and attend my first Discord wedding. I'm so nervous. Okay, before I even join the Discord call, I want to share that I think e-dating is totally chill and awesome pilled. And it's time to see if this wedding finally changes my mind. First of all, the wedding Discord has set me the task of writing a speech and collecting and giving a set of gifts. I don't know why I said collecting, I'm just buying gifts. Why did I say collect? I'm pretty nervous because I've got to do a speech and everything as well, which I didn't know until literally today. <laughs> I also didn't know this, but apparently Discord online e-dating weddings are streamed on Twitch. I didn't know they did this for weddings, but they do. Yippee! I don't really know how you're supposed to dress for these type of events. I don't know if it's like smart casual, business casual, Discord casual, uh, casual casual. So if I'm trying to get ready for a Discord wedding, I know just what to dress like. <laughs> I think this is perfect. 
At this point, I had the speech prepared for the future wife and wife, but with less than an hour to go, I had no gift ideas whatsoever. So I quickly headed to the most luxurious shop and website I could find and tried to find the perfect gift for the wife and wife. Wait, I, I can't afford this. What am I doing? Here. I've got to find a cheaper gift. This realization led me to making my own gifts for the future couple, Ghosty and Katie, because I remembered that YouTube does not pay me and won't anytime soon. Hell no, man. What the fuck? Okay, then it also seems like we have a reception channel that we're supposed to be joining someone, but I'm not joining that because I'm socially awkward and I'm going to wait until someone else does it first. So now we wait. And even with all this preparation, the nerves were still settling in, and I was pooping myself. Because I did not want to ruin this Discord wedding. That means I don't actually have to talk to anyone. At least they differed up too, because so sorry, Isaac, but I don't want to talk to you. And great, now I feel lonely. Am I the only single one here? It will be right. It'll be okay, won't it? Dinosaur plushie. Okay, look, my heart is beating. I mean, it's normally beating, but it's beating a bit faster now. I just need to sip out of my Twitch branded water bottle. Please pay me, Twitch. Please, please, please. I haven't been paid an agent. I just can't shake off the nerves. Yippee! You must both enter your life together involuntarily to truly trust you must in good faith allow for freedom and autonomy what do any of these words mean that have helped us build the strong foundation of our relationship it has shown me your unwavering <laughs> love <laughs> oh my god it's happening take katie buck as your lawful wedded wife slash cringe slash cornball i do <laughs> The married. We're married. That's what I said. Yay! Hey. I was gonna get you guys something really nice, and then I saw. Oh, okay, good. There, it, there's who I was gossiping about. What? Ooh, drama. Um, so for Katie, you're gonna love this one. Um, I got you hair toner <laughs> because. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue why. I just okay. gasped at this hair toner joke <laughs> bit. I don't it. know what hair toner is. I, I just gasped. It's you can literally an see me look around um, at everyone. And I, I was like, oh my god, okay, everyone's gasping. I should about, gasp. Because um, I, I didn't know how to react about, you know, and I didn't want to look like an outgasp. What is hair toner? Who's next? I'll really go next. I'm I'll go next. Oh my god, I'm so ready. I have a speech and I have two sets of gifts. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, so obviously Fig is like Katie and I's favorite right now. Just letting you guys know. Yeah, I actually prepared really well for this. I bought Katie a physical item. Hold up. Ain't you Nathaniel B? Yeah, well, I actually have like an actual gift. Get the fuck out of the car! Okay, so like a lot of people have been asking me, so I'm just gonna share my favorite qualities about both of you. Oh, uh, okay. Ghosty, super determined, you know, very likable person. Thank you. Sure, we can all agree on that right now. I couldn't really think of anything to say about Katie, but. Bro, I, what no, but the I do. No, but I do find Katie's like loneliness quite amusing and actually it's quite comforting to know that Katie's also not doing that well when I feel lonely. Thanks, Katie. And yeah, I've got two sets of gifts. Who likes Roblox? <gasps> love hey. Roblox! I love I Roblox. Love yeah, well, I didn't get any Roblox stuff because it's a problematic company. But I did go for the demographic. So my first gift is matching binkies. Matching binkies. Oh, my God. Those are amazing. Yeah. Baba. Yeah. Thank you. And I actually, and I actually, this is the actual good gift, which I just put a lot of effort into get. Okay. okay. So I've ne never, I've never played this game before, but it, I think it's like down, because you guys are both e-dating, right? You know, long distance uh, works and true love is real. Long distance. Look at that. Yeah, I'm looking, yep. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah. you uh, two Valorant IDs. Oh uh, my God. And they're matching. Yeah. That means Katie and I are going to play Valorant together. Well, I think everyone actually hates me after that. But if you don't actually hate me, please subscribe. Bye.